All right, this video we're going to look at finding the arc length of a curve. So if f prime, if the derivative is continuous on AB, then the length of the curve y equals f of x from A to B is the integral A to B of the square root of 1 plus f prime x squared. Okay, so the square root of 1 plus the derivative squared. All right, so Let's go ahead and take a look at an example. All right, so here it says find the length of the arc of the curve from point P to point Q. Okay, now here we have our function as y equals 1 plus 6x cubed and from point 0, 1 to the point 1, 7. All right, so we have we have our curve whoop, y equals one plus six x to the three halves. So we need to take the derivative. So the derivative is equal to well the derivative of one is zero, and then for this one uh, three halves times six that's nine, and then we subtract one so. That's 9x to the 1 half. That's the, uh, that's the derivative. All right. So now let's go ahead and find the length of the curve. So the length is the square root of 1 plus the derivative squared. So that's 9x to the 1 half squared. And we're taking the derivative with respect to x. So our limits are going to be our x-coordinates. So we're going to integrate from 0 to 1. Okay. So we've got the integral 0 to 1, 1 plus 81x. And it's the square root of that with respect to x. All right, and and by the way, I'm gonna I've got three different examples. Uh, I'm gonna do each example is gonna have its its own video, so you may want to check out the other two examples also. But all right, let's get back to this. All right, so what I'm gonna do is you can see when we integrate this, we're gonna use u substitution. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite this as one plus eighty one x. To the one half. Okay, change the square root to an exponent. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say let u equal 1 plus 81x and so du is equal to 81 dx. All right, so when I do the u substitution, obviously I'm going to plug u in for 1 plus 81x, but now I've got to worry about the du. Well, all I have out here is dx. I need an 81. So if I multiply by 81, that gives me my 81 dx that I can replace the 81 dx with du. But since I multiplied by 81, I have to also come out here and divide by 81. Okay, or multiply by 1 over 81. All right, so that's going to give me 1 over 81, and that's going to be u to the 1 half du. Okay, so the u I put in for 1 plus 81x, and the du I put the, see the 81 dx? There's the 81 dx. I put du in for that. Well, now, since I changed my variable to u, I need to change my limits because these limits here are x values. I need u values. All right. So I've got u is equal to 1 plus 81 times 0 equals 1. So I took the 0 and I plugged it in for x. That's going to give me my u value. So this limit will be 1. And then for the next one, u equals 1 plus 81 times 1. 
Okay, now I take the 1, plug it in for x, so that's going to give me 82. So my upper limit is going to be 82. And now I'm ready to integrate, so that's going to be 1 over 81. And then to integrate this, that's going to be u to the 3 halves. Okay, so I add 1, and then I multiply by the reciprocal, and that's from 1 to 82. And so that is going to be 2 over 243 u to the 3 halves from 80 from 1 to 82. All right, so now we evaluate. So I get 2 over 243 times, and now I plug the 82 in. So that's going to be 82 to the 3 halves minus, and then I plug the 1 in, 1 to the 3 halves. And then when you punch all this into your calculator, you get 6.103. And that's your answer. All right. So, you know, like I said, check out the other videos. The problem is going to be a little bit more difficult than this one. Uh, so check those out. And I hope this helped. Check out my other videos. I got a lot of calculus videos on here. Uh, give me a like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.